When I told Dad I was scared of the thing in my closet, he gave me a 45. What was he supposed to do? I was nine years old. He was supposed to say, don't be afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid of the dark? Are you kidding me? Of course you should be afraid of the dark. You know what's out there. Yeah, I know. But still, the way we grew up after Mom was killed and Dad's obsession to find the thing that killed her. <laughs> the weapon training and melting the silver into bullets. Man, Dean, we were raised like warriors. I was just going to college. It was Dad who said if I was going to go, I should stay gone. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah, well, Dad's in real trouble right now. If he's not dead already, I can feel it. So how'd you pay for that stuff? You and Dad still running credit card scams? Yeah, well, hunting ain't exactly a pro ball career. Besides, all we do is apply. It's not our fault they sent us the cards. Yeah. Well, you have a responsibility. To Dad? And his crusade? Why, why doesn't he just call us? Why doesn't he tell us what he wants? Tell us where he is? I don't know. But the way I see it, Dad's given us a job to do, and I intend to do it. You don't think I want to find Dad as much as you do? Yeah, I know you do. It's I'm the one that's a... been with him every single day for the past two years, while you've been off to college going to pep rallies. You got to go to college. He had to stay home. I mean, I had to stay home with Dad. You don't think I had dreams of my own? But Dad needed me. Where the hell were you? Hell, I did everything Dad asked me to, and he ditched me too. No explanation, nothing, just... Left me with your sorry ass. Well, let's see, honest, fun and easy. It's no contest. Besides, we're good at it. It's what we were raised to do. Yeah, well, how we were raised was jacked. Yeah, it says you. Remind you of somebody? Dad? Dad never treated us like that. <laughs> well, Dad never treated you like that. You were perfect. He was all over my case. You don't remember. Well, maybe you had to raise his voice, but sometimes you were out of line. <laughs> right. Right, like when I said I'd rather play soccer than learn bow hunting. Bow hunting's an important skill. Whatever. How about telling him to respect his old man? How's that for advice? Dean, come on. This isn't about his old man. You think I didn't respect that? That's what this is about. Forget it, all right? Sorry I brought it up. I respected him. But no matter what I did, it was never good enough. So what are you saying? That dad was disappointed in you? Was. Is. Always has been. Why would you think that? Dean, you know what most dads are when their kids score a full ride? Proud. Most dads don't toss their kids out of the house. I remember that fight. In fact, I seem to recall a few choice raises coming out of your mouth. You know, truth is, when we finally do find Dad, I don't know if he's even going to want to see me. Sam, Dad was never disappointed in you. Never. He was scared. What are you talking about? He's afraid of what could have happened to you if he wasn't around. But even when you two weren't talking, he used to swing by Stanford whenever he could. Keep an eye on you. Make sure you were safe. What? Yeah. Why didn't he tell me any of that? Well, it's a two-way street, dude. You could have picked up the phone. I want to apologize to him. For what? All the things I said to him. He's just doing the best he could. Well, don't worry, we'll find him. And you'll apologize. And then within five minutes, you guys will beat each other's throats. <laughs> yeah, probably. This is a job. Dad wants us to work a job. I mean, maybe we'll meet up with him. Maybe he's there. Or maybe he's not. I mean, he could be sending us there by ourselves to hunt this thing. Who cares? If he wants us there, it's good enough for me. It's... Sam, Dad's telling us to go somewhere. We're going. Dean, when are we going to talk about it? Talk about what? 
about the fact that Dad's not here. Oh, uh, let's see, never. I'm being serious, man. So am I, Sam. Look, he sent us here. He obviously wants us here. We'll just have to pick up the search later. It doesn't matter what he wants. See, that attitude right there? That is why I always got the extra cookie. Dad could be in trouble. We should be looking for him. We deserve some answers, Dean. I mean, this is our family we're talking about. I understand that, Sam, but he's given us an order. So what? We gotta always follow Dad's orders? Of course we do. I'm just telling the truth for the first time. I mean, why are we even here? Because you're following Dad's orders like a good little soldier? Because you always do what he says without question? Are you that desperate for his approval? This isn't you talking, Sam. That's the difference between you and me. I have a mind of my own. I'm not pathetic like you. Man's a master. What are you doing? We're not going to Indiana. We're not? No, we're going to California. Sam. Dean, if this demon killed Mom and Jess and Dad's closing in, we gotta be there. We gotta help. Dad doesn't want our help. Well, I don't care. He's given us an order. I don't care. We don't always have to do what he says. Dad said it wasn't safe for any of us. I mean, he obviously knows something that we don't. So if he says to stay away, we stay away. I don't understand the blind faith you have in the man. I mean, it's like you don't even question him. Yeah, it's called being a good son. You're a selfish bastard, you know that? You just do whatever you want. Don't care what anybody thinks. That's what you really think? Yes, it is. <sighs> oh, then this selfish bastard is going to California. Sam, you were right. You gotta do your own thing. You gotta live your own life. You serious? And you've always known what you want, and you go after it. You stand up to Dad. I mean, you always have. Hell, I wish I... Anyway, I admire that about you. I'm proud of you, Sammy. I don't even know what to say. Say you'll take care of yourself. I will. Call me when you find Dad. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We're lucky we had Dad. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Well, could have gone a whole other way after Mom. A little more tequila, a little less demon hunting. All things considered, we turned out okay. Thanks to him. What do you think I dragged you everywhere? Huh? And why do you think I came and got you at Stanford in the first place? Because Dad was in trouble. Because you wanted to find the thing that killed Mom? Yes, that, but it's more than that, man. You and me and Dad. I want us to, us to be together again. I want us to be a family again. Dean, we are a family. We I'd do are. anything for you. But things will never be the way they were before. Could be. I don't want them to be. Listen, Sammy, uh, last time we were together, we had one hell of a fight. Yes, sir. Good to see you again. It's been a long time.